Kinsey, there are more reports of trouble in paradise for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as Meghan has been seen around town with friends without Prince Harry and, importantly, without her wedding ring. Surely that can't be the case. It's a $300,000 beautiful diamond-encrusted ring. Maybe it's been cleaned. With, with Princess Diana's jewels, absolutely. Wouldn't you just cling on to this for dear life? <laughs> um, Rita, this is, I think, a unique situation. Now, some... Some of Megan's contacts have told Page Six that it's just being that there was an accident and it's just being fixed. But remember, she had it redesigned at one point. Mm. I mean, what's her relationship with this ring? Why is it not constantly in her possession? <laughs> um, but I do think that this is just fueling those r rumors, Rita. And I truly believe that everything that happens with Meghan Markle is by design. I think she didn't wear her ring on purpose. I think her hand was placed in that position on purpose in that Instagram photo. Yes, with some very prominent. Of her hair. Yeah, some of her hair guru girlfriends. And, you know, it's, it's interesting to me because I have heard through my contacts that she does intentionally want to be photographed when Harry is not around and that it, it is a source of conflict between Harry and Meghan because he's obsessed with privacy. He's obsessed with staying away from photographers. But according to my sources, she likes having her photo taken. She wants to be papped. She wants her friends to share photos on social media. So convenient that we see a slew of images of Meghan while Harry's in Japan. Yes, I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> reminds me of that brilliant South Park uh, episode uh, with their worldwide privacy tour because they do nothing other than bleat about how they want their privacy and yet seem to go out of their way to get media attention, including moving to uh, paparazzi heartland. I mean, why would you go to California if you want privacy?